Hi, in this video we're going to look at the first of three parts and we're going to be looking at equations of lines. And this one we're going to specifically be looking at uh, uh, equations of lines given slope intercept form. Okay, so let's have a look at our definition basically. So we've got uh, the slope intercept form of a line, which means that the line is going to be given in the format where we can see the slope and we knew from earlier that m is equal to our slope and the intercept is this y-intercept, so this is the b value here, so it's the y-intercept of the line. Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples so we can uh, have a little bit of fun with this. Okay. So we've got the first example, which says write the equation of a line that has the slope of, so if I give you the slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 3, then that allows us to write down the equation of this line, where it's going to be y equals and then 2, because that's our slope, that's what goes in the place of the m over here. And then we put an x there, because that's our... and plus 3. Okay, so this is the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, because I see the slope is 2, and the intercept is 3, of a line that has a slope of 2 and y-intercept of 3. Okay, so the b value is 3 and the m is the 2. Okay, so let's look at another example. Uh, this one, let's say we have the slope of negative 2 over 3 and a y-intercept of 4. Okay, so this is going to look like y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 4. And notice that every time I write the slope, the value of the slope here, I have an x right next to it multiplying with it. Okay, and uh, another example, let's have a look at the equation of a line that has a slope <coughs> of, uh, let's say, 5, and a y-intercept of negative 2. Okay, so then that's going to give us the equation y equals 5x minus 2. Alright, so now that you've got the basic idea of what the form looks like, let's uh, with some uh, variations of this, the type of question that you could see. Okay, so let's say um, you are given uh, the equation of a line, and let's say you are given that the equation in slope-intercept form is 3x minus 2. And suppose we ask for the equation of a line that's parallel. So let's say we want an equation of a line that is parallel to that line and has a y-intercept of uh, 5. Okay, so since it's parallel, that gives us information about the slope. So we know that the slope here is 3, right? This is the slope. Okay, so the slope is 3. And this part of the question tells us what the y-intercept is. So that's our b-value. So our b-value is 5. So the equation in slope-intercept form is, I'll just write that down, y equals mx plus b, and we want our final answer, which is 3x plus so you notice that the lines are parallel, so that means that they have to have the same slope, and they have the new line here has the y-intercept of 5, which is the one that we wanted. Now let's say our next question asks us for a line that's perpendicular 
to uh, either of these lines. So let's say we want a line that's perpendicular uh, to y equals uh, 3x, let's go with the original one, uh, minus 2, and that has a y-intercept of uh, negative 3. Okay, so what is that going to look like? Well, if we remember from a previous video that a perpendicular line has uh, a perpendicular slope, which means that it's the negative reciprocal of the slope that we have here. Okay, so if we look at the slope of this line right here, which is 3, we want the perpendicular slope, which is going to be negative 1 over 3. Okay, so basically this 3 becomes negative 1 third. And it tells us that we want a slope of, sorry, a y-intercept of negative 3. So let's have a go at this one. So we've got y equals negative 1 over 3x minus 3, because the negative 3 is our y-intercept, and that's what goes right there. All right, hope you enjoyed this one.